lovely humans and welcome back to my channel today we are doing behind the scenes video we are at the gardens at peacock farms um and it's emmy and ryan's wedding day again another couple that found us because of youtube and we're so excited so we're in central california which is um about five hours away from home yes for me you're like three four ish whatever yeah um and we got here a little bit ago they just did the first look we cried <laughs> Emmy looks stunning. She has um, a two-piece dress, which is just beautiful. You guys are gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. And I can't wait Please to walk you it. around this venue and kind of show you what it is. Um, but yeah, just wanted to check in, formally start the vlog, and then we can actually get stuff done. Although we go. we've been getting stuff done. Yeah, already. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the guest book and the seating chart. Yes. Yes? Mm-hmm. Oh. Also, it's, it's awkward because people don't know that I film. So we're hiding in we're hiding in the trees. Look at that. So cute. So we have a little seating area. That's going to be the dessert table. These are all going to be guest tables. Ceremonies over there. Guest tables more over there. Maybe a few right in here. Um, and we're going to do kind of like a modified flip. Um, the tables will already be set up with centerpieces and everything. The chairs will just be moved. So that will then turn into the dance floor. Oh, you're like a ninja. Okay, so we have all the things that we're supposed to be setting up right here. Um, she is lovely and organized and has like a little list for us to go off of, which is great. I also have that emailed to me. Um, they're the cutest because they wanted board games at their wedding. So we've got all of those. We've got even more games in there. Um, and then all of their table numbers are different board games that they love. Like, what? Um, and then here are the cheesecloths that she dyed herself for all the tables that we'll be putting out as soon as the tables are set. I think magnolia leaves may be one of my favorite things on the planet. It is 1236. We always anticipate first guest arrival about 30 minutes before the ceremony begins, so first guest should be here in under an hour. The tables are just starting to get set up, which makes us a wee bit nervous because we still have to place all the linens, and um, the florist has been here for about an hour um, and can't put any of the stuff up yet, but that's okay. We've got enough of a crew here that we can kind of just jump in, but it is something for you guys to keep in mind. Make sure that when you're coordinating arrival times of vendors, that the tables are there. What is happening here? that the tables are there and set up so your florist can put the flowers on them. Because this lovely gal is here and she's doing a great job. She's just kind of waiting around, um, waiting to be able to put the flowers on the tables. So um, bride and groom are doing bridal party photos, looking amazing, everything's going great there. We just, I think our main focus is getting out all the little details. For us, we have the seating chart to do. Oh, that's what it was. That's what I wanted to check in about. They don't the catering company does not have a number for each table like how many guests are seated at each table and this is something i actually went over the emergency kit with becca again last night where i was like oh post-its here's why i have these for the few times where there isn't some sort of number um this happened at the last wedding we worked and it's also happening here where the caterer doesn't know how many chairs go at each at each table so we are going through the seating chart and counting the amount of people that are at that table and then um, putting that on a post-it and putting it on the tabletop. Is it the most attractive thing? No, but we can kind of sneak it in there. Um, so it's hidden for photos and then the caterers know how many chairs to put in each location. So nifty little hack for you if you don't happen to um, put your table count down. First of all, maybe do that. But if you're a planner, get post-its. Post-its are saving the day today. Becca's currently counting all of these and then going and putting the um, post-its on the actual table, so I'm really glad she's doing that. We won't set up the seating chart until she's done with this because this is like her little base camp, but then these are going up on those doors over there. Not quite sure if you can see from here. And the clips are, did we bring the clips back over for these? I did. Oh, okay, right okay, so then we have clips and there's little ropes on those doors. It has been 
It has been a minute since I checked in. A um, couple of updates. Plates weren't on anyone's rental order. So taste, it, taste, catering? Taste. There's, I have another couple whose catering company is Toast. Toast. And their wedding is in two weeks. It's very confusing. Um, someone from Taste is running to get plates from the rental company for us, which is awesome. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle putting, I'm gonna move away, because I realized the bride's right there and the window's open. <laughs> so um, we didn't have any plates, so catering company's taking care of that. Um, it was a bit of a struggle to figure out how to get the tables exactly where we needed them. So that took a lot of our time. We are about 10 minutes away from ceremony beginning. So I'm gonna go, Becca and I are gonna go do a head count of all the guests to kind of see where we're at to see if we can start on time. We are pretty full up, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Allow for a few more stragglers to come in. Yep. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> to 12 minutes late, which is fine. Um, usually when it's hot outside, guests don't want to take their seats because they don't want to sit in the sun. They want to stay in shade for as long as possible. So it's sometimes in moments like this, it takes even longer to get them to their seats. Um, and right now, the efficient hasn't told people to be seated yet, so they're all still standing. So we might need to hopefully just let people sit. I don't know, let's wait for just one more moment in case he does some sort of like group plunge. But they are still, everyone's still standing. He's not going to. Yeah, okay, let's go beep. Because everyone's standing in the sun, it's hot and they want to sit. We got everybody seated. We just went around the outside of the crowd and gently told them to sit. Since we did start about 10 minutes late, I'm gonna check in with catering, see how we're doing time-wise um, and how they're feeling and um, stay pretty close to the ceremony space. I don't want to, it's not that big of a venue, so it's not like there's any place that would be really far. Um, but I want to make sure that um, we're present for the end of the ceremony in case he goes fast. Because if he didn't yeah. tell people to sit, yeah. he may have forgotten or I don't know. That was a 13 minute ceremony. All this is fine, it's not that big of a deal, but if you guys do have an efficient who is not a professional, like who's someone who does not do wedding ceremonies, there are a couple things that you have to remember, and one of them is tell them to tell people to sit. Otherwise, they're going to be standing for five minutes straight. <laughs> six, which means ideally, okay, wait, I'm gonna pull up the timeline. So family photos are taking uh, probably a little bit longer than we anticipated, probably because there's more groupings than I think the photographer, I'm talking to someone off camera, and by someone I mean Becca. Me, here. Um, I don't think they were prepared for this many um, photos. Yes. And the, the, people? Stop it! Sorry. This many uh, groupings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's not the amount of people or the amount of photos, it's the amount of groupings that make it difficult. Got it. I need this person with this person. These three people, okay, remove one. 
So it's the amount of groupings. So totally the necessary. The <laughs> <laughs> so the couple is gonna come in here and have some appetizers um, in just a few minutes. So we need to get, I just like walked away from you. So we need to get the efficient ready to come in here so he can sign their marriage license. And I also need to know who their witnesses are. To get him in here for that, those appetizers. I can't, I, I need more, I gotta walk away. I need it, I need it, Becca. Becca! Yeah. Okay. Um, should I bring those tubs in here? Yes. And then also the um, Bobby on the back of their chairs. Yes. Okay. Bobby the chairs. Oh, we're, we're, Hello. We're, get, we're getting that. Oh, we're bustling. Yeah. There's supposed to be two on this middle seam. Okay. There's three buttons. We're working on the bustle, so we might need another minute. The hugs, the couch cuddles, the true crime podcasts, the documentaries, the Dungeons and Dragons competitions, all of it. And he has integrated into our family. Dinner has been served. We probably did. We have been served. We have been, we ate. It was so it was so oh, good. Oh I brushed my teeth. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we are doing toast. Um, and hold on. Probably should check the timeline because right now it is 4:46. And hold on. So we're due for first dance in about 10 minutes, but we got grace time. Um, so it'll be first dance, and then they're actually doing both father, daughter, and mother, son at the same time. Oh, okay, that's fun. So it's just parent dancing. Different. Um, but yeah, basically just want to give you a quick check-in. We actually ate. It was delicious. Yeah, and the groom's father just thanked us and said how grateful he was for our amazing work. Yeah, man, that always means a lot to us. Yeah, like a lot. We love what we do. Go hit it. Give me an R. 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 Y. Y. A. 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 Ryan, you can see I'm not your only cheerleader here today. No. Aww. You have tons of cheerleaders out there. Sunset photos, and um, they're running through the vines, which is so cute. They're, she's so cute. Um, and I'm gonna go get her bouquet for her really fast because it's such a beautiful texture. And um, oh, and we started sunset photos earlier because there's so many. There's like hills over there that affects when the sun comes down. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a great night. So I'm gonna go get her bouquet. Got it. Oh no. Wait. Can't hold the camera. Any bouquet. Same time. Okay. Let's just take a quick moment 
um, Gardens at Peacock Farms put this together. So it's Ryan Loves Emmy. It's forever Amen. And this whole room has like a very soft, subtle pink and turquoise theme. Like, oh. Which is like my jam. It's your love language. Uh huh. Yep. Those. Yep. Those, those things. Yep. Sorry. Are you still talking? <laughs> um, but the best part. Hands down, best part is this. And then they have a pink toaster, and they have a pink coffee maker. I want. <laughs> I'm moving in. Yep, yep, yep. But they've just been really thoughtful about the details. There's overhead lighting that, that makes the lighting really nice in here. Now, of course, I'm not a photographer, so I don't know if this is like their favorite kind of light bulb, but at least this room is well lit. Cute. Parasols. Oh hey, what's up homie? We're also wearing fanny packs this wedding. Cause I've scooped to a new low, basically. <laughs> and then there's the bed if the bride has a fainting spell and wants to take a nap. Um, oh, and I need to not forget that I have my other camera battery over there. Okay, I'm gonna go do a walkabout out there. Uh, so cool. no. I was like, one. no! <laughs> okay, it is now time for me to get in focus first. Okay, there it is. Um, it is now 6.45, so the event is officially over in 15 minutes. So right now, we've already taken all of the gifts to the groom's father's car, and we are gathering up the rest of the personal items for the couple. So we already have all the signs. I think we have all of the table numbers. I'm gonna scoot back because that lights a little bit better. Um, so now we're just gathering the cheesecloth, which is a little hard to do because we just don't want to interrupt guests if they're at a table. So we're gonna keep going on with that hustle, keep going on with our teardown. I cannot believe the sky is still light and we're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. It'll be great. A lot of cheese cloth. We are back at our Airbnb. The event is over and it's bittersweet because that was a good one. That was really, really good. The vibe I really of the think it was one of my favorites. Really? You think it was one of your favorites? Yeah. It was it was so good. It was so good. We're so honestly I can't believe this is like what I get to do for a living. This is the coolest. The last few times I've done a um, behind the scenes video, I've done like a what could we have done differently type thing. And um, the only thing we ran into, like the biggest issue we ran into was not having plates. And the catering company leapt into action. Katie from Taste Catering was incredible. Saw a problem, immediately called up the rental company herself, got enough plates for us, and then sent someone to go get them to a place that was like easily 35, 40 minutes away. They were incredible. So it was a, what could have been a huge problem was completely taken care of because of the quick thinking of Katie. Um, and we love Katie. love Katie. And now we of course could have like gone and got plates. We were available to do so, but we just didn't have to worry about it. And so that was incredible. So, um, it really does help to have some really great vendors around you in case anything happens. And that's why we're there. That's the exact reason that we are there to be able to do something like that. And luckily we had someone like Katie and we had Taste Catering to be able to handle that for us. Other than that, the night went flawlessly. Flawlessly. Um, we did start a little bit late, but that is something I think I talked about a little bit earlier in the video, that sometimes it's hard to get people to take their seats when it's sunny, because they don't want to go sit in the sun for longer than they have to, but that we made up time so quickly. Oh, tell your efficient to tell I'm people. I was gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was running in here to tell wait, you. Wait, 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 tell the, tell the people. You need to tell your efficient to let people know that they need to sit down. Yep. Because that didn't happen. No, it did not. And he's so kind. He's so sweet. And, but, because, um, he forgot we did a little run around, so the photographers 
just gently telling people to sit down. Um, and, and I don't think they even noticed. The couple? Yeah. Oh, I guarantee you they didn't. Yeah. All things considered. Killer night. Are you doing my dishes? No, I'm just... Doing my dishes. No, I'm not doing them. I'm just like rounding them up. It's Guys, pro tip. Always travel with someone who cleans more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. So that's all we have for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like this video. Let me know you like behind the scenes stuff. I think I say that in every behind the scenes video, so like... Sorry if you're getting tired of me saying that, but okay, I'm probably gonna keep doing it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride and behind the scenes fun. Cause this is a good in. It was a super good in. And until next week, bye guys. Bye. Bye, Becca, where are you? Bye. <laughs>